another tutorial, another After Effects tutorial. Today, I will show you how to create a slit scan effect. I was inspired on this artist, a French artist, so I'm gonna show you how he creates their visuals in After Effects. All the resources and the project files are here in the description box and let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, the first thing we need to do is prepare our footage. In this case, I record this video and just going to select the uh, in point and the out point here and drag to the uh, new composition. These effects work well with a uh, high frame rate video. This video was recorded on uh, 60 frames, but if you have a higher frame rate camera, this effect is going to look it's going to look better. If you if you don't have a camera that records a high frame high frame rate videos, you can do this pro this process. Just drag it to a new composition and select composition settings and double the frame rate. In this case, 120. If you recorded on 30, you can set it to 60. Also, uh, when you're recording, try to make a uh, subtle uh, movements, like if you were in a slow motion. Now, once you have it with the new frame rate, just activate the um, frame blending two clicks to get these points and activate the global switch this way after effects is going to uh, create frames between the real frames of the video now you need to export this footage this video and do the same thing once again just import it set it to uh, drag it to a new composition, set the frame rate to the double and export it again. And you're gonna end with one video like this. As you can see this video is converted to 240 frames. Just drag this to a new um, composition and this composition is gonna rename to slit. Let's change the size of this composition go to composition settings and in this case if the movement is going to be to the right we need to make an, a vertical line if the movement is going to be displaced down you need to create an horizontal line in this case you need to reduce the width in this case 4 which is the minimum of after effects now set it to 40 to see where the effect is going to be in this case the effect is going to be on the center of the composition so drag the, the video and set it to where you want the effect to start something like this and uh, right click composition settings and set it to 4 now you have this small line however these four pixels generate different tones of colors and we need like bars. So we need to add an adjustment layer, go to new adjustment layer and add an effect, go to distort and set to transform. Now for the uh, width, for the scale, uh, uncheck the on form scale and for the scale width, scale width set it to a high number maybe 5000 now you as you can see there's lines this is because the four pixels uh, minimum drag this lead comp to a new composition and rename it as scan rename it click on the composition and, and hit it hitting enter now change the size of this composition right click composition settings and set the width to an uh, original size in this case uh, 1920 select select and a hit on p for the position and on the x axis set it to zero 
so you can uh, have this layer on the first pixel of the uh, composition but in this case set it to 2 because the layer the composition is 4 pixels wide now we need to uh, create an effect type repeat tile in the effects and presets and add it to the slit comp now expand this uh, effect right 1920 pixels this way you, uh, you you have this this effect and if if you go forward in time you can see all these movements which is just the small portion of the video repeated to the right now we need to create the time effect go to the adjustment layer a new adjustment layer and now go to time and set it to time displacement um, to this effect works you need to add a displacement map add a new solid go to new layer uh, solid and um, go to generate and select gradient ramp for the uh, black leave the black and for the white set the B value to 50 to make a, a half gray now select the position of the gray and set it to 0 comma 0 to the gray starts on the first pixel and for the black set it to the other side in this case 1920 hide the gradient select the adjustment layer and select the gradient in the uh, time displacer select effects and mask and now decrease this value to maybe 10 so you can see how the effects works if you uh, go forward in time you can see all the graphics repeating for the uh, right side okay now these values or these graphics is going to be affected by this value if the value is small the graphics is going to be uh, appear longer but quicker okay however if this value is a higher value maybe 3 you can see that the graphics is like a, a more compact however if the value is higher the um, resources of the PC is going to be up so be careful with this with this value in this case set it to 5 and for the time resolution you need to set this uh, frame rate so set it to 240 now the time of the of the, pro uh, the f processing time of the frame is going to be up, but here is going is is more defined this object, but it's kind of chopped, and this is because the gray on the gradient have these uh, sort of lines, and you can go to the project and set the eight bits per channel to a 60 bits per channel now hit ok once you have it done the, the processing time is going to be up a lot more but uh, if you have a, as you have a better grayscale you can decrease the choppiness now if you can see these graphics looks really really good now 
if you can if you want to continue working with this effect you can uh, decrease the bits per channel and the um, values on the time displacement set it to a less uh, uh, value of 10 and maybe you can decrease the the time displacement to make the composition now go to the panel the break panel and drag this to a new composition this rename it as render this one we don't need this one to 250 frames you can set it to any frame rate you want in this case 60 can works and now drag the scan composition to the uh, new composition and set the effect into the place of the uh, of the composition in this case you can zoom it and try to replicate the, the pixels in this case i think it's like something like this this pixel looking like the same and now if you go forward in time you can see that the effect is appearing once you cross this line and it and it looks really really good and now we need to do um, make the closure of this effect select the video and pick whip to the scan this way um, if you have this scan if you move it the the video on the back is gonna stick now duplicate this footage unlink it hide it and now go until the point where I jump to the wall maybe here hit B for position and drag it to the uh, last frame and drag this composition to this point maybe now on hide this this video and in this case select the scan and place it on the same point maybe there now if you can see when this is moving everything is okay but in this point the first is the the offset of the time the for the video and in the second is not linked so we need to select the footage and pick whip to the scan this way this is staying on the same place right now here is a problem with the offset of the time of the video so just place it where your effect of the time displacement ends maybe there and just drag this layer until the same position maybe um, something like something like that now if you go forward you can see how the the element is going out of the time displacement now duplicate this layer and hit uh, right click time freeze frame to hold this keyframe and uh, select the mask tool the rectangular mask and create a mask to the uh, border of the effect drag this to the top and hit on P on the keyboard keyframe on the P for the position go back in time maybe something like that and drag this composition holding shift to the outside of the composition this way this is animated like 
this is a closing right now this way uh, I forgot to, to hide this layer so hit ctrl shift B to cut it and there you have it here is the uh, final effect the first graphic now the next graphics all these hands a little dance maybe <laughs> and, and then I jump to the wall the displacement is working and the uh, element is closure it looks really really good right once you have it done then you can go back to the scan and change the project to, to uh, 16 bits per channel and increase the value for the uh, 240 frames go back to the render tab export it in any format you want and send it to me on instagram to i can see it well guys i hope you find this tutorial useful i would love to see your work send it to me on instagram at master effects with double s i'm really happy to see your progress and here is a video that you need to see, a button to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching, I'm Master, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.